The proposal on the table is a compromise solution. The statue will be moved from the courthouse to the Chickamauga National Forest. Reverend Dale. I appreciate your efforts at conciliation, Ms. Danes, but I still remain fundamentally opposed to the relocation of that statue. At least we know the price for the great Tramer Dale selling out. A trip to the White House. Young lady, you mean well. You declare this is racist and that is racist, but you are young, white, and living in America. You don't know what it's like to walk in my shoes. And I won't always be around to tell you, but that statue will. It stays. Reverend Dale, this is a great honor for me. The honor is mine, sir. I also wanted to thank you for your willingness to compromise on the statue. In the end, we moved it to an area that was less traffic. I know that's not what you wanted. No, sir, I believe we sanitize history at our peril. It's nice when it's history we don't like. But not when it's something we do. Yes, sir. It's a dangerous precedent we set here today, sir. I don't disagree with you, but sometimes compromise seems to be the only way to move forward. Well, you can thank your pistol of a young lawyer here for bringing me around. She reminded me that there is no virtue in absolutism. Old lions like me can be stubborn. Yet they still roar. Mr. President. Reverend, please. Reverend Dale. May I lead you out, sir? No, but you may walk with me. How'd you turn them around? I unified them by giving them a common figure to hate. Huh. Sadly, I'm starting to realize that that's one of the great secrets of good governance. Sir, Carlton Mackey's in the West Wing. Want me to bring him in? No, he doesn't sell.